All right, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about breakfast. Now, breakfast is an important meal. Uh, it's the first meal of the day, and it's one of the meals that you can have at home, really. And that sort of gets you started. If you eat badly in the morning, then within, you know, you get to work at 8 or 9, and within an hour or so you're hungry, you know. So it's not a good start uh, to your day if you're hungry all the time. So I'll tell you what I used to eat when I was growing up in India. We really used to eat the leftovers from the night before, or so it would be like uh, rice, some vegetables, or some uh, leftover Indian bread from the night before. My dad used to cut into small pieces and uh, put some onions and some vegetables, and you know we'd cook it uh, with some um, with some spices. So it was something delicious we used to look forward to. Or he would uh, take the leftover uh, bread and he would mix some uh, sugar and some ghee and you know, we would have that in the morning for breakfast. If we did not have any leftovers, then my mom used to cook dinner, uh, cook lunch first thing in the morning. So whatever like bread and uh, Indian bread and some vegetables or some uh, lentil soup, dal, some of you may know what I mean. So uh, whatever was cooked for lunch, we would eat that for breakfast. And that was what we used to eat. But when I came to US, in here, um, I didn't, well, I, I started eating what everybody else was eating. That was cereal. We would buy cereal. It was very convenient, really. You buy a box of cereal, dump it into a bowl, put some milk in it, and you have. It's very quick. It doesn't require too much thinking. doesn't require too much time. doesn't require too much time to eat uh, or prepare. So off, uh, off you go for work. But then uh, I gave up uh, eating uh, wheat. So I was thinking, what, what can I eat now? So that's when I started to look for some gluten-free gluten -free cereals and things like that. But uh, then I moved on to smoothies. I would have smoothies in the morning. And in the morning, uh, I would mix different fruits, different vegetables, lots of nuts. I used to eat lots of nuts and, and uh, seeds. And I would have that uh, for breakfast. And that was uh, quite filling for me for the first uh, year or so. But later on, I realized I was getting hungry within an hour and a half or two hours after eating a smoothie. So now I've uh, sort of stopped having smoothies and I'm thinking about why uh, was I getting hungry within an hour or two, even on a gluten-free or a vegan uh, breakfast. And I think the problem was uh, I was eating too much, uh, uh, too little grains. And if I did have grains, they were very processed and refined. <clears throat> so what I eat now is uh, I just make oatmeal. So I uh, had two ways of having oatmeal. I soak it overnight in milk or, or almond milk or water and the next day you add some fruit and you're ready to eat. It doesn't, have, doesn't need to be cooked. So that's pretty convenient. But then I also in the winter I like something hot. So then in the morning I wake up in the morning and I uh, boil some water and I put some whole oats. And uh, the gluten free oats were really the best ones that I liked. The regular kind of oats were still giving me uh, trouble in my belly. Uh, so gluten-free oats is what I cook, and they're whole rolled oats. They're not uh, uh, they're not instant oats. They need about five ten minutes of boiling in the water, and then I you know mix and match. I have oatmeal every every single day, every single day, for some time now. And I, I just put some. Uh, sometimes I put apples. Sometimes I put raisins. Sometimes I put frozen berries. I mix and match. Sometimes I put some Indian condiments like um, saffron or. Uh, 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 you know, like the in Indian uh, condiments like nutmeg or cardamom uh, and things like that, just to jazz it up, flavor it up, just for a change. So that's what I've been eating now, and I, I really like it. And uh, that doesn't make me hungry. I'm okay till uh, maybe I'll eat a fruit around 11.30 or 12, and I eat lunch around uh, 12.30 or 12. So that has worked really well for me. So I hope you find this helpful. Have something uh, that has whole grains in it. If you have whole grains for breakfast, that'll keep you full for uh, 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 for quite a bit till lunchtime.